Ms. Brogdon, you are in court to prove to Ms. Jones and her daughter that her deceased son, Tyrell Jones, fathered your one-year-old daughter, Quamira. You say once the DNA proves your case, they need to step up for your baby. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Sugden, you say without a doubt that your brother did not father Ms. Brogdon's daughter. You say the stress of her accusations have affected your mother greatly and is preventing her from healing after the loss of her son. Uh, you want her to move on and find her daughter's father. Yes, Is that correct? Honor. So, Ms. Brogdon, how has your daughter been affected by the denial? She has been affected from no, no partake in her father's side of the family. My baby's one, she only saw their side like four times. She only see them when it's time for gatherings and stuff about Tyrell. It's hard. My baby had a seizure. She been sick. I've been going through everything with her. I have five kids and she's my fifth one and I'm struggling. Didn't have a job since I have her. Like, I have no help at all. all and she this is really difficult for you to raise her alone. Yes. Ms. Sugden, you say that there's no possible way your brother is this child's father. I don't think that's my brother's baby. I don't. Why? Tamisha, first of all, slept with two of my brothers. So that's what left me, like, I'm, I'm, I can't trust anything she says, honestly. I mean... She slept with... With two of my brothers. Two of them. Two of my brothers. And that's true, Ms. Brogdon? Yes, Your Honor. But you're in court saying that just Tyrell is your daughter's father. Yes. If you slept with the other brother, too, yes. could he potentially be the child's father, too? No, Your Honor. I heard otherwise. You did. What yes, did you I hear, Ms. Sugden? Ms. Chambers told me that she slept with my other brother around the same time that she slept with Tyrell. So there is a possible... Like, so she slept with two brothers... Around the same time that she... Around the same time. Yes. That's not true, Your Honor. Ms. Brogdon, you were in a relationship with Tyrell? Yes. You were? Mm-hmm. Explain to me the nature of that relationship. Me and Tyrell, we were together for, like, three years. Like, close to the end, Tyrell started cheating. He started staying out. He started doing all this type of stuff. It was one night, Tyrell lied and said he was at the police district. I went to the police district to check to see if he was there. He wasn't there. I went to his grandmother's house where he said he was there. He was not there. And I waited for him. I stayed there. I was drinking. I got mad and me and the brother had sex. I had sex with Paul in, I say, March. I got pregnant in June. How do you end up dating one guy, you dating this guy, right. and then you sleep with his brother? Because you're mad. The same. Because you're Just mad. for the anger? Yes. And so you did it to get back at him? I've been through a whole lot with Tyrell out of the three years. It was not just him lying and staying the night out. No, it's more than that. Ms. Suggins, you're saying you've heard personally that she was sleeping with two brothers around the same yes. time. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> I slept with Paul one time. All it takes it's is one time, it. sweetheart. No. So, Miss Sugden, do you think home. it's a possibility that your other brother could be this child's father? I think well? there's a possibility. Yes, I got that news. So, yes, now I think there's a possibility. Yes. This is what she did to us. She slept with two brothers and, tore, and we hate her because of that. She okay. slept with two of my brothers and tore our family apart. She had my How brothers fighting out know there. If we're close. She had my brothers fighting. They never fought ever. Know, though? They so never Ms. fought Jones, ever. You say you, you, you're very upset because... No, how am I supposed to know that that's really Tyrell, um, Tyrell's daughter? If she's not Tyrell, she's Paul then. So, bottom line, she's your granddaughter and she's Ain't your no niece. Bottom line. Line. Ain't no bottom she's line. She's still a part of your family. Bottom <laughs> line. What you mean, bottom line? Bottom line, she's still a part of your family. You don't know that. It's somebody else nothing. in the picture. It's it's not supposed nobody supposed to do nothing without knowing. How you think somebody's gonna do something without knowing? Hold on, hold on. Are you crazy? Else in the are you crazy? Are you crazy? Ms. No, Brown, ain't doing so crazy about what we supposed child? to do? We don't know if that's I'm our very baby crazy or not. About my child. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We don't know that. Wait, it's, Ms. Brogdon. We find that Ms. Brogdon, hold on, because your testimony just changed slightly. You said at first you only exactly. slept with Paul once, exactly, and it was nowhere near the window of conception, and then you just said now that it's either one of their babies. If it's not it's... Tyrell's, it's Paul. So either way, the child is related to you. So There's which... no way. I'm saying it because <laughs> that's what they say. They're trying to make me seem like Paul's my baby dad. He's not. He's not my child's father at all. We don't know who your baby daddy is. Okay. So ultimately, you're saying this has affected your family? Yes, and my brother's living with... He has to live with guilt because of it, you know? Now he has to carry this with him. You know, it's just too much. It's affecting our family too much. We need to get this over with ASAP. Because he has guilt because he knows slept he with slept her. with her. Yeah, and it's a possibility, you know, that he could be the father.
He was like even upset about trying to take the test. You know, it's too much. He was upset about taking the test because he know he's not my baby father. I heard that we'll story see. from a family member. So today's test will reveal which of the two brothers is the father of your child or whether or not either of them are in fact the father of your child. This is indeed a family affair. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Two brothers slept with the same woman and you don't know which one is your child's father. Is there anyone else you were seeing during that time? No. And you say Tyrell, he wanted this pregnancy. Yes, Tyrell went to every appointment, every one. But she didn't say it was his until he died. We didn't even know about it. Even when she was at the hospital delivering the baby, she never called us, ever, never once. We could have went to the hospital right then and got a test done. She never called. How was it his Why baby? didn't you call? Excuse me, Your Honor. When I had my daughter, I called Tyrell's child mother. Uh, and what she got to do Tierra, Tyrell's sister, was right there. And Deanna told her, this is Deanna. Deanna told her, Misha had the baby. Do you want to go to the hospital? When I'm going to the hospital for you, right then and there, y'all could have had a DNA test. I never that denied That was the day before no you DNA was about to test. leave the Okay, hospital. so you brought a witness, ma'am. I'd like to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Deanna Chambers. Miss Chambers, you are... Tyrell's daughter's mother. Tyrell's daughter, so his older child... No, the middle. The middle child's mm -hmm. mother. Yes. And you're here testifying on behalf of Ms. Brogdon... Yes. ...who claims that he fathered her child as well. Yes. What do you have to add? When she called me and said she had the baby, Tierra was at my house. I said, Tierra, she had the baby one go. Oh, what I'm going to the hospital for? Right then and there, y'all could've got a DNA test done on that day. Why didn't Mish call? Why is she going through you all the time? She's a grown woman. You're right. Why Excuse did she me? go through me? But y'all don't going through you about like me. Y'all hate me. That's but you're a that's grown woman. Hate me. If you want somebody to help you with your child, you be a woman about it. Excuse the me. The same way how okay, y'all on let's, Instagram let's, talking let's about me and my child, now. my innocent child that don't have nothing to and do with the situation. It's not about her. Ladies, ladies, no, it's not. It's about you. This is about her. Why we here? You did. You messed up all Ladies, so Miss Brogdon, you're saying that. Ms. Sugden and Ms. Jones, they didn't know anything throughout the pregnancy. No, they did know something about... You believe I they did. did? Yes, they did. I came to the funeral pregnant. I was eight months pregnant. How didn't y'all like, know I was didn't pregnant? didn't see you at I the see... funeral, Mish. I, I don't, didn't see you. I, don't, I, don't, I came to your grandmother's house the day that he passed away. She sat I at the held... table at the repast with the family, pregnant. Yes. Tira, you did not sit next That's to me not. on your grandmother's couch and say Tyrell's gone. I spoke to you, but you were too busy crying. And you hugged me and said Tyrell is gone. I never hugged you. I didn't even like you. Whatever. So I, never right? I didn't you. like you either. I don't like it. And that's fine. And I don't right. like you. No. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> they are upset because of the fact that you admittedly slept with two brothers, Miss Brogdon, right. and it wasn't right on their part either. But they are, of course, feeling a a kind of anger, resentment towards you. Yeah. It's had long-standing consequences. So you do understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So you brought a witness. Yes, I'd like to hear from her now. Please stand, ma'am. <laughs> and your name, ma'am? Um, Tiara Jones. Okay, Ms. Jones, mm -hmm. you're Terrell's sister. Yes, I am. His okay. younger sister. And what do you know about this firsthand? I was told not only from Ms. Chambers, but another mutual friend that she had another her other's baby daddy, last name was Jones. And um, originally, Kwamira was named after him and not Tyrell Jones. So I, oh. it's just a coincidence that both of their last name is Jones, but at first I heard that he was there. And then, you know, however it went, he, he was no longer there. And then that's when I started hearing, okay, things about Tyrell. Now, I knew that she was, she was in fact pregnant, but um, I never heard it out of Tyrell's mouth that, oh, I'm having a baby with her. All, all, everything that we ever heard was back and forth, he say, she say. The day that she did go to the hospital when she um, had her baby, Deanna was getting dressed. And I asked her, where are you going? And she did in fact say, oh, Misha had the baby, I'm going to the hospital. Not one time did she invite me, but I was gonna go I anyway. sure had to invite you. You didn't have to invite me, but Especially I did not know if that's my That's need. your invite. 
she had the baby. There you go. That's your invite to come with me or call okay, your mom. Okay, but I never, I never I even knew. I should have to say, let's go. Give me your hair. She's not, not the one that got to do the DNA test. Firstly, though. I don't. Mom? Firstly, I'm, I'm, I can't even do the DNA test. No, That's number can't. one. Number two, I, I never but said. I never said. I never said that was my baby. Okay, I think the, I think the question is, is this? If there was a level of concern or belief that one of two brothers could be this child's father, yeah, and once you did not know that the child was born, why didn't you go to the hospital? Did you not because go because you didn't believe? Because she has five different baby daddies and it, it don't matter if she has and six. So that's why, that's, that's the bottom line of what your testimony, Gerard. that it could be someone else. It couldn't have been anybody. We don't know if that's our baby. We don't know if that's our baby. And the crazy thing is, Your Honor... It could have been done a year ago. And the crazy thing is, Your Honor... So why she didn't tell me when I asked her to give me the mic? Ladies, one at a time. The crazy thing is, Your Honor, I feel like they play with the situation and not in, in delicate. Like, my brother's... He's no longer here. Right. He's not here. And if you say, okay, well, if it could be... It could be Paul's baby or it could be Tyrell's baby. The fact that my brother's no longer here and you're just saying, like, well, it could be either or. Either way, it's your niece. You're not saying it's Paul. You're saying it's Tyrell's baby. And my brother is no longer here. And if he was here, he might have would have said it was his baby. And but he's not. Right along but he's not. And we would have. Just like we right along with you, you and your baby. Because I... <laughs> If you let her finish her testimony. Yeah. No, because my brother said it was his, so we went along with it. Like let I said. her finish her testimony. She waited patiently while you all spoke. Let her finish what Thank she's you. trying to say. Thank you. So basically, I'm not saying. At first, I was saying, yeah, I don't think it's her. You know, I don't think it's his baby and every and all of that. Today, you know, I, it, it can be a possibility. It can. But I honestly, I felt strongly about it because I knew a lot of her past. With, you know, she was she got around. So at the end of the day, no, I'm not going to flock to her and say, this is my niece. No, I'm not. This is why we're here today. I'm here to find out. And I feel like there's... I'm tired of the accusations. To say that this is, in fact, Tyrell's baby, you can't say that because you know that you had other sleeping partners and you have five different baby... different baby daddies. And it, it's a possibility that it, it is not Tyrell Jones. Excuse me. What did you think about my other baby dads when and you were holding her at um, Sianne's birthday, birthday party? party? So what? Sianne we was trying to see if we looked. Is she Sianne looked like her? She looked baby, just the like her. Like 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 the baby doesn't look like... The baby doesn't look like our family. My brother's baby. I never said that. You're lying, Deanna. You're lying. I never said it was my brother's baby. Never did I say that. So you're lying. Took pictures with the baby, crying, holding his baby the whole time. Saying, this is my brother's baby. It was two months after my brother died. It was emotional. Yeah, I was crying. You're right, I was crying. I just lost my brother. I still cry to this day about anything about my brother. We so what? Cry. So don't say I was crying. So what are you saying? So what? You, so what? That's not your brother. Right, exactly. So what? That's everyone cry. show. So what? That's not your brother. And so what you're saying, Ms. Chambers, is you personally witnessed her hold the baby. Yes. And express a love and affection towards the baby as her brother's child. That's yes. what you say you honest. witnessed. And yes. you say, Ms. Sugden, you were holding the baby, but this was not about knowing for certain it's, whether this I was I never knew for sure. To the, I, from the first day till the last day, I never knew for sure. I held the baby staring to try to see if I saw my brother in her, and I did not, and I still don't, honestly. And I'm staring and staring. Yeah, tears came down my eyes. It was... I was crying. I was at my niece's birthday party. It, it was an emotional time. It was two months after my brother's murder. Yeah, I was crying. And? Your Honor, we're just here to know the truth. That's it. That's I just want to know the truth. And we have that truth for you. Thank you. I think Thank it's you. time we go to the room. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. The first part of this testing is to determine whether or not either brother has fathered your child. Right. The second level, if we make that determination, will be to determine which brother, in fact, fathered your child. In the case of Brogdon versus Sugden Jones, pertaining to 17-month-old Quamira Jones, it has been determined by this court. Miss Christina Jones is related to Quamira Jones. <laughs> now, we know that one of the two brothers, in fact, is Quamira's biological father. Now we will determine <sighs> which brother. In the case of Brogdon versus Sugden Jones, pertaining to 17-month-old Quamira Jones. 
It has been determined by this court, Mr. Paul Jones is not the father. <laughs> I'm sorry. Which means... I'm sorry. Tyrell Jones is Quamira's biological <laughs> father. I'm sorry. 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 I'm I appreciate the fact that you crossed the aisle and made an apology. <laughs> you all have been through a lot. All of you. You all lost someone very near and dear. And now we can honor him by being good to her, by giving her the type of love and support she deserves, and by you all being the village that she will need. Every child needs their village. Yes. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Ms. Clay Edmond, you are in court on behalf of your son, DeAnthony, who tragically died in a car accident. Yes, Your Honor. You want to prove that he is not the biological father of the defendant's two-year-old daughter, Debria. You say Ms. Rudolph is trying to swindle money from the family and you have evidence to prove another man is the father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rudolph, you say this baby was planned by you and the deceased, Mr. Clay, and you are adamant he is the father. Is that y correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Clay Edmond, uh, why do you believe she's claiming this baby is your son? Because she's a gold digger and she's looking for somebody to take care of her baby. And that's the only reason? That's the only reason I can see at this point. And so, elaborate, ma'am. The day my son died, it was tragic. So, the next day, I get a call from Miss Rudolph on Through Messenger Facebook claiming that my son, which died the day before, that he was the father of her then one-year-old or uh, going to be one-year-old at the time. Did your son ever say anything about the baby, a one-year-old? No, Your Honor. I didn't know anything about the baby or her. <laughs> Miss Rudolph. And were you and your son very close? Yes, Your Honor. We was very close. When she first came to me, yes, I wanted to accept the baby because this, she said this was my son, baby. I'm hurting. Anything connected to him, I wanted to be a part of. So, when all of this went about, we accepted the baby, we put her on their um, obituary, we bought her things for Christmas, we did all of that. Then out the... All of this went down. That's when we started getting messages from different people saying that she was doing this for money, that it was another young man named on the birth certificate, and the little baby had another man's name. Okay, that, that was a mouthful. Miss mm -hmm. Rudolph, were you in a relationship with DeAnthony? Yes, Your Honor. And you all were in a relationship for about how long before his passing? Four or five months. And you uh, say he lived with you? Yes, John. Were you aware that your son was living with... No, ma'am. A woman? No, ma'am. Continue. He moved in with you, and you say you pl you planned Both this baby? Both of planned to have this baby. No, they were not around. No, I did not meet them. We both planned this. He was already in a relationship. It's an on and off thing with the previous baby mama. They was at an off and she just so happened to be the one he dealt with, I guess, for as whatever. And this is... Th these are pieces of the puzzle you've put together now after the fact? Because you're saying when your son was alive, he never spoke he of Miss Rudolph. Spoke of her. He never no. spoke of the no, baby. No, he never spoke of her. But you did testify that when you first heard about Debria, you accepted her because you felt like that was a piece of your son. That's what at first. And so when she first messaged about. you... You accepted the yes, baby? You said you started buying things for the yes, baby? I bought her stuff for the funeral, and then we also bought stuff for Christmas. All right. So, you know... And at what point, then, you, you have tragically lost your son, and I'm so very sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. You lose your son, you find out he has a baby, an almost one-year-old child, mm -hmm. and you say, well, this is a piece of him, I am going to embrace this child. Yes. At what point do things turn bad? 
when I started receiving phone calls about the other guy being the baby's father. Who was calling you? What happened? I mean, different people that know of her. You know, I, like I said, I don't know her, so I can't say. I can only go what they was calling me. And then also the fact the guy that's supposed to be the baby dad, had, I heard a conversation that I, we was all on the three-way, and he's telling me about her telling him she knew 100% sure he was the father before he signed the birth certificate. Excuse me. So another man said he was the biological father of Debria. Yes. Excuse me. And your son was not. <laughs> yes. And he signed the birth certificate. Yes. Miss Rudolph, how do you respond to that? After I cut him off and had no dealings with him, I got back with my baby's father. And, and the only reason why you pregnant. did it because you want to get back with him, so that's why you did what you did. No. But you're not going to stand here and tell this judge that my son planned a baby with you? He did. He can't take care of himself. So why in the world would he get with a young lady whom he just met he just and he plan a baby? Me. He is not that baby's father because when he asked her, she told him we have well, no Wait a minute. You said you never heard of Miss Rudolph. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You said you never heard of Miss Rudolph. Not now you... for as for say as her is just a baby. When I went to him, I said, "Deanthony, if that baby is yours, you need to step up and be a father to her. If it's yours." He said, "Mama, I've been trying to talk to this girl when we first when she first said something about the baby." He's not referring to Brittany. He referred me as her, so I, her can be anybody. All right, I'd like to hear from your witness, ma'am. Please okay. stand. State your name for the court. My name is Ashley. Ashley, Ashley last name? Clay. You are... DeAnthony's cousin, first cousin. His first cousin. Sister, all of that. Okay. Best friend, everything. Okay. Everything. All right. And what do you know about this situation? What I know about this, me and Anthony was really close. He was my best friend. And for... Okay. And for her to be like, they planned a baby, he never... <laughs> That is a what do you know about the issues surrounding her paternity? I know that there is another guy on the birth certificate that is not D'Anthony's. Does name. anyone have the birth certificate here? Yeah, he owns You do? Yeah. Jerome, will you please hand that to me? Thank you. <clears throat> this is the birth certificate for... Debria, Taylor Rudolph. Yes, Your Honor. And there is another man listed. Yes, Your Honor. So, did you think about putting DeAnthony's name on the birth certificate since you believe he was truly the biological father, Miss Rudolph? Um, to be honest, I was gonna take that off and put nobody up there. Yeah, and I also got a picture of the other guy that's supposed to be listed right. on the birth Holding certificate. The he has a whole Debria. bunch of pictures. Yes, he has, he has, a, whole he has, he has a whole lot of them. He has a whole bunch of them. But he's not the dad. Okay. It don't matter. Uh -huh. All right, let me see. Let me see this. Jerome, okay, will you pass so me this evidence? Okay, so where my son fit in all of this? Why didn't he get that chance? Why didn't he get a chance to hold her? Thank Why you. didn't he get the chance to say this was his favorite? He, she he went on So, the first hold on, hold on, Miss Clay. I'd like you to describe yeah. to the court. What is this picture of? This is a... That's a picture of Debria, as she was an infant, looked like, and it says Daddy and Princess. Right. Oh. And that's not my cousin? What is a person to think when they see something like this after you done told me that my son was the daddy, and then I get to see this and all of this other stuff. So that's why I told her, let's do a DNA, and that will cut out the lies that he said, she said, that they said. Let me understand this. So you tried to get a DNA test. You requested it. Yeah. And you're saying Miss Rudolph would not argument. respond? We was arguing. It doesn't matter whether it came through an argument, whether it came through a letter, whether it came through, came through, came saying, through whatever. Do the you did not do the test. They Simple never came point, to me saying, period. let's do the test. It came through an argument. I told them, yes, we can what do argument, a though? test. What argument, though? Through what Facebook. Was... Okay, what the argument was about? The lies. The child. The lies. The, the it was basically about, about the lies. The child. the child is innocent. The, ch the child is innocent, Very baby. innocent. That's what it's about. The child the is lies. innocent. The lies that you've been we're telling. We're here because you lied about 
Who okay. was the daddy from the... You just don't know what you have done because, for one, you got a whole nother family that thought this baby was there, that they is taking care of this baby, they keeping never this took baby. Care of my child. It doesn't matter, but you didn't told never. these people that. So, so why would you put his name on there knowing that? I was with him. And it was and, and guess, who do, guess who do things like that? People who don't know who their baby father are. I know who he was. People who don't know who their baby father are. All I want is the truth, and she's not gonna stand here and tell you my son playing the baby when I know good guy doggone well. He can't even take care of himself. I was taking care of the Anthony. All I want to know is the truth. And the true being, why is it so hard well, for I'm us here to believe? I'm going to downgrade my cousin's name. He's not here to support himself. He's in the ground. And I want to know if he was here, would you have told him, oh, this is your baby? No. To see here, because you no. did not see him that when he was alive. Nothing. All right, all right. Ma'am, I'd like to hear from you. Please stand. Say your name for the court. I'm Pierre Gaston. Miss Gaston, I can see you were very emotional you know, sitting there. What? I, what? Yeah. Who are I'm you? Here because you are... I was there the whole time. That's why I'm here. So you was there when I he was got there the when he told. I was there, Yana, you when DeAnthony told my cousin he wanted to have a baby girl. He wanted Brittany to have his baby girl. I was there. I was there when she found out she was pregnant. I went with her to the clinic. She called DeAnthony. He was at her house. We all stayed together. He was at the house. Brittany called him and told him she was pregnant. He was happy at first. It's like when he found out he had another baby on the way, and she found out that. He was talking to other females. That's when he wanted to switch, the, um, switch it up and make it seem like he didn't want the baby no more. That's why she said that she didn't want no dealings with him. And they don't even know they so were not there. So, at any point, did he accept this child? He was still on this earth for almost a year, and the child was here, alive and well. Did he accept Debria? Did he ever see her, hold her, spend time with her? No, Your Honor. Never. Uh, no. Never laid eyes on her. Never seen her. He's seen a picture of her. We all seen a picture and of her. And that... I, I'm talking to the judge. <laughs> we... He seen a picture of her. He wrote me in my inbox Please. before he died and was like, do I have... Um, could he see a picture of the baby? <gasps> when I sent the picture, he was said he... I, and I had a proof right here, if you want to see it. Yes, I'd like to see that, please. Jerome, will you please hand me that evidence? Mm -hmm. He sent you a message. It says, hey, how you been? Mm -hmm. Um, straight. Could you send me some pics of your beautiful girl? Response, for what? I just wanted to see her, but never mind, Brit. You presented this evidence to say he reached out to see a picture of the baby. Yes, ma'am. Did you send the his... picture of the baby? Yes, ma'am. And if I'm... Like I'm saying, okay. if it wasn't his baby and if he didn't care, he wouldn't even want to see a picture of her. He wouldn't be studying her, period. Yo, Anna, I just don't believe he got with her, her now, and to say, I want this young lady right here that got other kids, not sure who her baby dad is, to be the father of Excuse her me, baby. Anna. Come on. And then just like she said, picture, she didn't, she, if he, he can't want, take care of himself. Who, who wouldn't want she to see a picture? She said this man can't take care of himself. He He's staying with my cousin. We, okay, we teenagers. Of course, teenagers gonna have sex. That's, that's just normal if they stand together. He told her he, he wanted, wanted her to have, have his baby girl. Come on. He right. told her that. All right, hey, listen. Can I say something? Listen, yes, ma'am. What would you like to add before we go to the results, Ms. She didn't even know My cousin came to me. She was not there. My cousin was in my house every day. I'm talking. 24 right seven, seven days you a week. Mean. When I got yes, off work, he was at my house. Just a minute. Like I said, he was my brother. He was there. One morning, I wake up. He in the living room, sitting down. He like, cuz. I'm like, what's going on, cuz? He was like, man, this girl trying to say, oh, she, she pregnant with my baby. I'm like, who? I said, well, did you ask her, is it your baby? Or do you feel like it's your baby? He said, no. I said, okay. I said, well, did you ask her, is it your baby? He said, she told me no. I said, well, okay, what kind of chick is she? He explained to me what kind of female she was. I said, that, that that's what she is. But I told him, I they said... They don't even know me. But I said... Crazy. But listen, listen, listen. We don't know you. You know what We don't know. But at the, end of the, day, at the end of the day, ladies, let's get some order. At the end of the day, through this testimony, what I am finding to be true is that Debria was born mm -hmm. and on two occasions with you, Miss Clay Edmond, his mother, 
he mentioned that there was a baby. Yes, he did. And then with your, his cousin, Miss Clay, he mentioned there was a baby. Yes, he did. He didn't believe he was the father she, of this baby. Because she told him that he was And that's why we're here, Your Honor. We're he not told... trying to say that he could never be the dad or nothing like that. That's Just... my point. Do you want the results? I do. Yes. I All do. All right, let's get them. Jerome? Because I know him. And I want to know if he was alive. Like, would, would you have still let this man... We're this is your child. To if he was alive to this day, Your Honor, what, 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 would we be here today? Would we be here today if he was alive, Your Honor? That's my, that's my whole situation. All that's right. my whole... I'm like, ooh. Are we wanna, do we want to get the results? Yeah, we want to. All right. Mm. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Mm. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, D'Anthony Clay... We performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Rashawn Clay Edmond. In the case of Clay Edmond versus Rudolph, when it comes to two-year-old Debria Rudolph, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Clay Edmond and Debria Rudolph is... 99.98%. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so... And so we. Okay, well, good. I'm glad. I have closure now. Because this I'm has mad. been weighing on me for a while. To know... To be knowing that it may be a baby mm. or not. But I'm glad to know that Debria is my grandchild. Ms. Rudolph, I know it's difficult. But we're here now. Your child, you've said from the beginning, this was her father. We're here in this moment. His family is right across the aisle. And she has a right to know who they are and to spend time with them since she won't have him.